Well, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to take a look at creating this kinetic typography animation inside HitFilm Express. So, are you ready? If you are, then let's begin. I'm going to click on File and create a new composition. The template I'm going to choose is 1080p at 60 frames per second and then click on Start Composting. And once it opens up, click on this uh, little cog icon to open up the composite shot properties. And let's just change the duration of our animation and make it three seconds long and then click on OK. We'll click on options button right here and uncheck the checkerboard background. Now the next step is to add our layers, our text layers. So we'll create a new text layer, set the width to 1920 height to 1080 and click on OK. And then I'm going to use the text tool and type in my text. Control A to select your text. Go to the text tab and here you can change the font. The font that I'm going to be using is called Corbel and I'm going to change the font size to 200. And then let's just um, rename this layer to R. And let's go inside that layer, go inside transform and let's just bring this in the center. So I'll just eyeball this and try to, you know, put this text in the center. You can use the title save guide effect and uh, find the center point of your composition. So I'm just going to put it right there. And uh, yeah, so after that, what we'll do is create another text layer, the same width and height. Then select the text tool and type in your second text. Uh, and um, then we'll just rename this to your and I'm just going to put this text below my other text layer and um, let's just bring it down for a moment and let's create a new text layer our last text layer and this is going to be our third word and it's going to be ready okay then uh, if you want to you can just select this text and change its color I'll just use this color, click on OK to apply it. Then I'll also rename this layer to ready and hit enter and just put this text below your below all these text layers. All right, so I'm just going to hide your end ready layer. And I'm just going to work with this first layer, first text layer and we'll just animate it so go to one second in time create a position keyframe then move back to the first frame of your video and just put this text all the way to the left so just basically make it disappear from your scene and then let's select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier so let's take a look at our animation so we have this nice and smooth animation um i think i should just put this the second keyframe at 30 30th frame so we have a um, bit of a fast animation like that all right so let's create a new layer and this time we'll create a new point layer and uh, i'm going to parent my first text layer which is this r layer so i'll just parent that to new point layer now the now if i change the new point layer we'll see that the text will also change Okay, so um, what we want to do is basically after this animation comes, I mean after the animation is completed, we'll just create a position, scale and rotation keyframe at a 30th frame. This is the time when our animation completes. And I'm just going to move 30 frames forward and then I'll just um, rotate it by negative 90. And I'll just scale it down and move it to the left side. So somewhere over there looks fine. And then I'm just going to select all these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier. So we have this simple animation. And then I'm just going to bring in my second text layer. So just unhide it and we will just put it in the center. So let's just use the position property and it just 
put this text right over here so um, we'll animate our uh, second text layer as well so what I'm going to do is at uh, one second or like maybe at 50 frames I'll just create a position keyframe and move um, 30 frames back we might want to change it um, at a later point so I'll just move this position to the left side and then I'll just select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier like this kind of animation um, so let's just change the position of these two keyframes so I'll just drag these two keyframes make sure they are first highlighted and then just drag it so yeah I think that looks fine okay so right now as you can see our text is overlapping one another so we need to fix that and to do that we'll create a new plane layer we'll call this mask and then click on ok we'll just hide this mask layer for now and um, what I'm gonna do is I'll move forward and uh, at one second uh, I'll just put this the right side of this plane layer this line basically I'll just put this in between these two text like that all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'll just um, parent this mask layer to new point and now you'll see that uh, your mask will also uh, animate so this is basically what we want now in the effects tab I'll search for set matte effect and apply it on our your layer or the second text layer we'll expand the set matte let's we'll change the source layer to mask and we'll set the blend to subtract and maybe we'll just have to click on that invert checkbox as well maybe not so that's that is looking fine so we'll just leave it as it is okay so we are uh, done with our second text as well let's take a look at it okay and uh, then we'll just create another point layer click on new layer then click on point uh, let's just call this new point 2 okay so um, uh, we'll go inside new point 2 inside transform uh, before that we'll just parent our second text layer which is this one we'll parent it to new point 2 and um, the new point will parent that as well make sure your new point is parented to the new point 2 then uh, we'll change go inside the new point 2 and we will basically animate it so at one second I'll just uh, create position scale and rotation keyframes move 30 frames forward and uh, we'll just change the rotation to 90 I'll just turn down the scale and the position I'll just bring it to the left something uh, like that and then I'm going to select all these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier so you'll have something like this alrighty and then uh, the last text layer will just unhide that and position it in the center so somewhere over there so um, let's do one thing let's go back to our new point two and uh, make sure your scale second scale keyframe is highlighted and then just bring down the scale value to around 26 so that is looking fine uh, you might want to play around with that value or you can just go inside transform and use the scale and you can just scale this up and then just reposition it like that okay um, so far so good um, so the next step is to animate our uh, the third text layer as well so let's go inside the that text layer and we will basically be animating it so like add um, one second and 30th frame will create a position keyframe just the position keyframe 
let's just move back a 30 frames and bring this position all the way to the left something like that then i'm going to select these two keyframes and convert it to manual bezier so we have this kind of animation all right now again we need to we'll see that our text right here is overlapping so again we create another new plane layer call this mask 2 and click on ok and before we parent it we'll need to position it on position this line the top part of our plane layer and we'll just put that on right over here on top of this text and then we can parent our mask to new point 2 okay um, then uh, you can see if I enable the mask tool layer you can see that it is being animated all right, so uh, the next step is to grab the set mat effect and apply it onto your ready layer. And we'll go inside the set mat, set the source layer to mask two, set the blend to subtract. Let's take a look at it. Um, yeah, we are. It's being it's vis visible right here. So maybe we have to uh, click on this inward checkbox. And now, oops, it's still not working so just try to figure it out in a moment um so let's just see right over here this is our plane layer um so yeah i i know why is it not working it's because um of mask layer is you can see the scale is crazy the amount of scale there so let's just um set that to a hundred I will set that to zero and zero and um, set that to zero set the rotation back to zero so we'll basically be setting it to setting everything to zero um, we'll just set the parent to none and then we'll just try to you know do the same thing again i'll we'll just repeat this now again um, then we'll just parent it to new point two um, so just do that and uh, this is our text let's take a look at it yeah this should this should work fingers crossed um so again apply the set mat i think it's already applied yeah it is so let's take a look at it just uncheck the inward Make sure it is not ticked and this box is not ticked and yeah there we have it guys now as you can see we have on the left side we have this the text is still visible on the left so we need to need to fix this glitch um so to do that uh, what we'll do is create a new plane layer and we'll call this mask left and we'll be basically masking the entire uh we'll be masking the left side completely so we'll just um, hide this and uh, I'm just going to put this right side of this plane layer and put it somewhere over here. Okay. And then um, we'll apply the set mat effect again on our third layer, third text layer. And we'll go inside that set mat, set the source layer to mask left and set the blend to subtract. And now uh, you can see that the text is gone from that left side and um, the last step is to enable the motion blur on these three layers the three text layers and you should be good to go so that's just about it that's how you can create this kinetic typography animation in hit film express um, if you have uh, this kinetic typography actually looks better if you have an audio file um, in the background and you can just use that and you know try to synchronize your words with your audio um, i don't have any audio file so let me just quickly show you what you can do if you have your audio file you can go into import and um, grab any audio and just import it and uh, once you import it uh, you can i think um, it's in yeah uh, you can right click on your audio and put options and you have the show waveform option right here and you can try to use this graph 
and um, uh, try to use this graph and try to synchronize your words uh, your audio with the text letters or the words that are appearing on the screen so that's just a quick tip um, uh, other than that if this video was helpful please do uh, consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and I'll see you the next one